a Michigan Technological University professor's groundbreaking research is fighting food insecurity and eliminating, eliminating waste by turning plastic into protein. I was able to stop by his lab to see how this research could impact our future. Plastic into edible protein. It doesn't sound very appetizing. However, Steve Techtman says it's not as crazy as it sounds. Techtman is an associate professor of biological sciences at Michigan Tech. In 2020, he was one of the researchers selected to turn military plastic waste into protein powder and lubricants. We were trying to figure out a way of taking things that are considered waste, stuff that we would throw away and turn it into something that's valuable. And plastic is one of these wastes that we use all the time. It gets recycled sometimes, but a lot of that ends up in a landfill. And so what we were trying to do is to see whether or not we could use bacteria to help us to convert that plastic into something valuable. And bacterial cells are about half protein, so they have all of the nutrients that we would really need in order to, to be used as a food. Techman's research won him the 2021 Future Insight Prize by a German company, with over $1 million awarded to continue his research. I split that with my collaborator at uh, University of Illinois, so we get half of that to do science here at Michigan Tech. So the money is for research and it allows me to support some of the, the people that I work with, the graduate students and, and postdocs in my lab. So how does turning plastic into protein work exactly? These are a lot of the, the bacterial cultures that are growing using those broken down pieces of plastic. Um, and what I think is really cool about this is that a lot of these are organisms that came from natural places. And many of these are coming from compost from a farm in Calumet um, here in the Keweenaw. And yet these natural organisms that are present all over the place have the ability to break down these pieces of plastic. Basically what we're feeding them with is are, are these things, which is kind of like an oil. Um, and so we give them this as the only food and then they grow and they're, they're breaking this down and turning it into cells um, as they're growing. And so then we can uh, take the cells out of this uh, solution and then that's the, the, the product that we're trying to produce. Um, and so right now we're able to deal with a number of different types of plastics. We can deal with plastics that are like are in water bottles or the plastics that are in the, the grocery store bags that you would get. Um, and so these are all growing on a mixture of those kind of plastics. Uh, some a little bit from water bottles and some of it from uh, say plastic bags or other, other wastes. Techman says it'll be a few years before the edible protein will be used for situations such as emergency and disaster relief.